Girls, it's Rosalie and in today's video I'm going to show you guys the most random things that I've bought recently and it's a lot so definitely grab your popcorn, grab your coffee or whatever and let's get into this because I literally have bags and bags of just random things I've been buying for myself. I went to Ross, Forever 21, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Dollar Tree, Ulta, Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, like literally I went all over the place and I got so much stuff. So there will be like a try on portion of this video as well for like the couple of clothing pieces I got, but everything else I'm gonna show you guys and I'm really excited because I've been wanting to use everything but I just kept it in the bag so that I can show you guys and now I can officially use it all. By the way guys, if you don't know, I do film really late. It is currently 1 o'clock in the morning and I have work at 8 o'clock. So let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna try not to talk too much in this video so it's not like a 30 minute long video for absolutely no reason. Thank you to those who are my consistent friends, my pals, my amigas. I'm so happy that I get to talk to you guys all the time, especially in the comments. I love chatting back with you. By the way, excuse my hair. I'm really lazy. I don't want to do it. Let's just move on and ignore it because it looks crazy. I know. <laughs> So the first place that I went to was Marshalls and I got a bunch of beauty items. So first I got these lashes, they're from Kiss and they are $7.99 and they look so natural and pretty. I really love like the cat eye where they're long on the ends and smaller in the like middle towards your nose and then the next item I got was this NARS bronzing powder like I was so shocked to find this this is the bronzer in Laguna I've never tried this but I've heard such great things about it so when I saw that it was only $16.99 I had to pick it up it's such a steal I kind of already used it so it does have like smudges so this is what it looks like it's such a pretty bronzer and I'm always looking for a good bronzer so I'm excited to test this one out because like I said I've heard really good things about it and then I also picked up two lipsticks the first one is this liquid lipstick from Anastasia and I got it in the shade naked which is such a pretty shade I'm surprised nobody bought this like by the time I got there everything was picked up but yet this was still there I was just super surprised and it's such a gorgeous color I already tested it out with like a brown lip liner and it looks so so good so I definitely recommend you getting this it was literally $5.99 at Marshalls like $5.99 are you kidding me such a good steal the next lipstick I got was this MAC matte lipstick and this is in the shade Mir M-E-H-R like I literally don't know how to say that but it's fine and it is this really pretty mauve color I'll show you right now once I get it out of the package it was $7.99 which I know these run like 20 bucks so I think that is so cool so it's this pretty mauve shade which I love so much Literally, I feel like I'm wearing a very similar color right now. This was not touched in any way. It wasn't swatched or anything like that, which I think is so awesome because, like, it's not taped down or anything, but yet it wasn't touched at all. Like, okay, sis, like, I had to grab it real quick. Okay, so the next place that I went to was TJ Maxx, and I got, like, some hair products from there. I got this Fox Bay 12-in-1 Magic Daily Leave-In Hair Mask. I've been in need of like a hair mask for so long because my hair is dead. It's so dry. It was also cute because it was purple and it has stars on it and literally purple is my favorite color. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, I kind of need this. So I got it and I've used it a couple times so far and I love it. While I was shopping at TJ Maxx, I was actually with a friend of mine and she picked this up. It is this Bio Silk Silk Therapy Shampoo Conditioner and a Serum. So she says she normally uses this serum and she said it works really well. And I was like, okay, let me get this three pack. It was only $24.99 and I think the serum by itself alone was like $20. So I figured I might as well get like the whole set just because... I might as well try it and I need a new shampoo and conditioner anyways but I have tried the serum already and it did make my hair really soft when I used it so the next place I went to was a little shop in my local mall 
and I just picked up a few lip liners because I really needed some new lip liners but they didn't have too many colors I really went in for like a brown and I ended up with three just really random colors and this first one is this Italia Deluxe lip liner it's in cafe so I couldn't find the brown that I wanted but I did get two wine colors like I wear wine lipstick but I got them anyways to kind of pair with different lip combos so the first one I got was this Italia Deluxe one in black current and like I said it's just a wine color I feel like you guys don't need up close of these products just kind of guess what they would look like but this last one is from Amuse and it's in Sangria which is again just a really dark wine color the next place that I went to was Dollar Tree and I always go really crazy at Dollar Tree like literally everything's a dollar how can you not want to buy everything in the store like I probably didn't need half of this but yet I bought everything in the store let me just show you what I got. So the first thing I got were two Sudoku books. These actually help me with like my anxiety or they help me go to bed at night as well. Like if I'm tired but like I can't sleep, I usually play this until I exhaust myself. The next item I got was some extra gum. I literally forgot I had this. So I'm going to throw this in my purse so I can have gum when I go to like work and stuff. So I picked up this brush and it is called Sleek. And I picked this up because I really wanted like a brush to do like my high ponies and stuff like that. Something that will get the hairs really like tight to my head because I feel like regular brushes don't do that. So I got this one so I can like really go in there and like flatten out all the bumps. The next item I got were these sunglasses and I thought they gave like a very like early 2000s maybe 90s vibe and i kind of want to go pick up some more glasses from the dollar tree because i saw some other cute ones that people were posting on tiktok so i'm like girl you need to go back there and pick up some new glasses but these ones are really cute and i love the color and like i just feel like they fit my vibe you know i just i love them so much i had seen these all over like tiktok instagram facebook literally everywhere and they are the no touch key so you basically can open doors with this and it's just shaped like all weird so you can like stick it on the door handles and like open things or you can enter your pin on certain things. I just thought it was cool. So these two actually I got at the 99 cent store but I thought I'd throw these in there as well. So I got these two little wallets and they are the cutest little things. They're meant for like Valentine's Day I think. Uh, but I had to pick them up because I love these little coin purses because this is usually what I use as like a wallet It's just easier to hold all your cards in the next non-beauty related item I got from the Dollar Tree are these six wax melts So it comes with six in each of them. I got vanilla beach rose and lavender fields and now I'm going to go on to more like beauty related items from the Dollar Tree. The first item is like probably my favorite find at the Dollar Tree. They are these press on nails. I literally have to have nails at all times. Like I just always have to have my nails done. And especially because I film videos, I like hate not having nails when I film videos. It makes me feel weird. So instead of just having naked nails until my next appointment, I've decided to use these. And I'm going to keep checking at the Dollar Tree if they have more so I can like stock up. But they are these matte fashion nails in coffin shape. And they're pretty long as well. Okay, so these are the first one. They're purple. And then the accent nails are marble with purple in them. And I just thought these were so pretty. Again, I love purple and then these are also coffin shape and these are like a pretty maroon color And then these last coffin shape ones are some really pretty nude nails So these are for like your more basic days so excited. I found these at the Dollar Tree like one dollar for a new set of nails Yes, please. Thank you and then I had to get glue, so I got this Kiss glue, and it actually works really well. Like I said, I've glued on my nails recently, and it makes them stick really well. So I'm excited to try them out with the press-on nails. I'll probably do that in the next couple days. The next item I got was this Repairing Argon Oil Conditioning Treatment. And I love like a good hair treatment because it makes my hair feel so silky and smooth. I just decided to try this out. It was a dollar, so I thought why not i love shaving my face so i picked up these three eyebrow razors 
I did already open these, but I love the size of these because as you can tell, like the actual blade is pretty long and I feel like it gets every inch of your face when it's this long. And then I decided to pick up a brown liner in coffee and it's an eyeliner, but I'm probably going to use it as a lip liner. It comes with a sharpener. It's just like a little elf eyeliner. And I guess it's supposed to instantly plump your lips. So I wanted to test it out. I'll probably test it out on TikTok to see how it works because I'm really excited to see what happens. And the last item I got was this LA Colors liquid eyeliner and I actually heard good things about this. I got it in black. I heard that people actually use this like normally so I wanted to see if I liked it. It kind of reminded me of like the Wet n Wild ones or like the e.l.f. ones. Okay so the next place I went to was Ulta which is like one of my favorite places to go. So I tried to pick up like a full face of makeup. So the first thing I got was this ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. And it's called Pretty Fresh, I believe. Honestly, the packaging was so cute. My friend Megan, she also has a YouTube channel. She requested that I got this. Or she suggested, not requested. She suggested that I got this. And I just, I actually really like it. I might have got the wrong color. I feel like it's more of my summer color than it is like my current color. And then I also got concealer and I'm actually so glad that I got this and I am probably gonna continue to buy this even though it's kind of expensive. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And my friend Emily was the one that suggested that I got this. And I truly love it and it's good on its own without any foundation as well. So I would definitely suggest you getting this. It's so pretty too. I needed some new sponges so I picked up the Real Techniques sponges. I've already used one. These are like a classic fave. They work really well so I had to pick them up because they're trustworthy and not too expensive. I needed something for my eyebrows and I had seen someone that I follow on Instagram using this. And it is the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. And I got it in Espresso. And I actually have used it as liner as well. And I think it looks really good as like a brown liner. But it also works really well on my brows. I haven't used like a pomade in a long time. I've been using like a powder or something like that. And I feel like this works super well. I forgot that I love pomades. I picked up an old fave of mine, but I decided to get in light medium so it can kind of like go all over the face. But again, I think I might be going too dark. I really don't know. But this is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I really enjoy this. I feel like it looks really nice, and it makes my skin look really soft and smooth. And then I picked up another fave. This is from e.l.f. It's the 16-hour camo concealer, but this time I got it in the shade Deep Cinnamon. And I've already used it as like a contour shade and I feel like it is the most pretty contour shade I've ever used. And I'm going to have to remember, Deep Cinnamon is the contour shade that I want to keep repurchasing because it's just so good. I picked up three of the NYX Butter Glosses. They're some of my favorite glosses. I got Fortune Cookie, which is like a pretty nude color. And then I got Tiramisu. I really like that color because it's like a pink brownish color. I can't explain it. It's just gorgeous. And then the last color I got was Praline. And I feel like that is a pretty like espresso color. And then I picked up my favorite mascara which is the Essence I Heart Extreme Volume Mascara. Super nice. If you ever wonder what mascara I'm using, it's probably this one or the L'Oreal Voluminous. The last two items I decided to get because I have been seeing those like NYX lipsticks super popular all over TikTok and they basically like are shiny but they don't transfer. And these are like the OG products. This is the Outlast All Day Cover Girl 24 Hour Lipstick and it has that same effect. So it like looks like it's shiny, but really it doesn't transfer. It's really pretty. So I picked up this in the shade Ripe Peach. And then I picked up the Superstay 24 Hour Color Lipstick in the shade Constant Cocoa. And this is from Maybelline. And this is that same type of lipstick, so it looks shimmery, but it doesn't transfer at all. So the next place I went to was Bath and Body Works, and I got a bunch of stuff for literally so inexpensive. I spent $16.94. That's like less than my Dollar Tree haul. 
are you joking let me show you what i got and you'll see why it's like kind of cheap but i still feel like it's really worth it so first of all i got this magic in the air fine fragrance mist and first of all the packaging is gorgeous but also it actually smells super nice and I don't know why it was literally so inexpensive. So I also had to pick up pink cashmere and I got it in the body lotion and the shower gel. I love using both of these. I feel like they always make me smell good when I use them combined. Like I wash my body and then I put lotion on. And honestly the color is pretty and just overall I feel like this is a really good scent for like everybody. And both of those items were literally $3.12. The last items I got from Bath & Body Works were holiday scented, but I still feel like you can use them all the time. But the first thing I got was this hand soap, and it is the Marshmallow Fire. And I love the way that, like, the fire smells, like, fireside smells. It just smells so good. And then I got two little sprays so I can, like, throw in my bag. And I got Merry Cookie and hot cocoa and cream. Next place I went to was Victoria's Secret and I spent $26 and I feel like I got a decent amount of stuff for $26. Let me show you what I got cause I'm so excited about this. So I actually picked up two of a scent that I already own. They are Thorn To Be Wild Mist and these smell so, so good. I just ran out of my last one so I got two new ones because they were really inexpensive i believe they were three dollars each and then i also got sweet summer mist which i've never tried before but it just looked really cute and i really wanted to test it out and like i said it was three dollars and then the last mist that i got was this pink tide mist and i'm kind of regretting it because i think it has coconut in it but it doesn't smell too bad like i sprayed it on myself and it doesn't make me like gag and usually coconut makes me like really sick to my stomach but this isn't like a really strong coconut smell and then i got two roll-ons which i really needed for like my purses and stuff and i got them in bombshell gold and also i got it in bombshell paradise the bombshells were actually only four dollars which is way cheaper than their normal price and then I also got a free scrunchie, I guess, for spending a certain amount of money. The next place I went to was Ross, and I got quite a lot of stuff. I've honestly been seeing so much on TikTok. I made a video, and it actually got a ton of views, and it was such a simple video. I've always shopped at Ross, but I have just noticed that their items have just gotten a lot better recently, and I picked up some really cute stuff. Before I get into clothes, I did pick up these cotton candy acne patches and they are so cute because they come in heart shapes, star shapes, and cloud shapes and you can just have little patches while you sleep to help your like acne go away. And I just thought they were so cute and they were super inexpensive. I also picked up some wipes. I normally get my wipes from Walmart but I was at Ross and these were only $6.99 so I picked these up. They're really cute. They have like flowers nothing special about them i still love my walmart ones but i just needed some at the time and then the last like non-clothing related item from ross is this set of clips and they were just so cute so i had to get them they were three dollars i feel like these claw clips are really in and they work so well if you just want to throw up your hair real quick and the next items from ross will be nothing but clothes i'm really excited to show you guys because i got a lot of cute items so this is the first item it is a bodysuit and it is so pretty i already tried it on and it is so nice it makes you look super snatched and i feel like batwoman or something the next thing i got was this set so it actually came with two pieces the first piece is this tank top and it just ties right here in the front it's this very pretty light blue color i really love that and then it has like lettuce detailing on the bottom it's just like a tank top and it came with a cardigan that also has like lettuce detailing and then just ties it right in the front you can also wear this with literally anything else or even by itself if that's what you like to do i personally wouldn't but i know that some people wear their clothes like that and i think it is really pretty the color is just so gorgeous i love this color i own a few of these tops and i had to pick up another one so it is like this fuzzy tank top 
and it like cinches in at the waist and it's just so pretty and super super soft and i got pretty much everything i think in a size medium maybe a small but mostly a size medium but it's just this light pink color it's like a dusty pink color which i think will be pretty for spring but i feel like you can also wear it in the winter time and then i also got this cardigan which i thought was the cutest cardigan ever it's actually pretty thick it's not a very thin cardigan it's like a ribbed material and it has two ties in the front and i just love pink and i think pink looks really good on tan skin so i can't wait for like the springtime when i'm more tan to be able to wear this it will look so cute with so many outfits i decided to pick up another bodysuit and i actually got this one in a size small so i hope it fits i actually haven't tried it on yet um it was actually 12.99 see i have the prices on some of this stuff but it is this bodysuit, this denim bodysuit. And I thought this would look so cute with so many different things. I'm thinking like maybe leather pants. I don't know. I have ideas and like I envision myself wearing it a certain way. And then I decided to pick up this tank top. It has like stretchy straps, which I think are really nice. It's ribbed material. Super cute for like springtime and cute to wear under like cardigans and jackets and different things like that. It is cropped as well. And the last item I got from Ross is this sweater. And I've been loving animal print so much recently. And I feel like these funky styles are going to be in for 2021. So I got it. It is distressed on the top and at the bottom and on the sleeves as well. But I think it looks so pretty. It's like this pretty tan color with black. And it just has such pretty detailing on it i don't know why i'm so obsessed with this but i'm so excited to wear this okay so the last place i shopped at was forever 21 and i got some really cute items basically everything was on sale at forever 21 so i'll start with jewelry because i got a decent amount of jewelry the first item i got were these earrings they come in purple pink and red and they are so cute i am so excited to wear them especially for valentine's day the jewelry was the buy to get one free so of course I had to get some more I think I got four. First of all I got this necklace it is like this silver chain and I thought it was just so cute and she literally charged me a dollar for it which I was like um okay the tag didn't have anything on it so she just kind of entered whatever price she thought it would be the next item I got was this cross necklace I love necklaces with crosses on them especially like chained necklace I think they're so pretty and the last piece of jewelry I got was these rings I love these rings especially for like my nail picks for Instagram and this was super cute i just like the layered rings they just look really trendy and cool so i got two clothing items from forever 21 the first thing is shoes and these i just had to pick them up they were so cute and i don't own any shoes like this in this color so i had to pick them up they are these beautiful brown boots and they're like this pleather material and they kind of look like maybe crocodile or something they have like this chunky chunky heel they just remind me of like super retro shoes and the last item i got is probably one of my favorite items but it is this jacket it's a denim cropped jacket and it has this faux fur lining on the collar and it looks so cute i love this color denim as well and you can also remove this collar so that it's just the denim jacket so it kind of comes like a two-in-one jacket okay guys that is everything i got in this really random collective haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comments down below i'm really looking forward to do like a shop with me video really soon so you guys can see kind of like my process of how i shop so expect that to come super soon. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. I am so glad that I get to call you each my friends and we get to just like hang out in these videos. And I love to chat with you guys in the comment section because we can like relate, we can chat. It's a good time over there. Thank you guys once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.